Joel chapter 1, the word of Adonai that came to Joel, the son of Bethuel. Mourn the land's destruction. Hear this, elders. Give ear, all inhabitants of the land. Has this ever happened in your days or even in the days of your fathers? Tell your children about it, your children to their children, their children to another generation. What the locust left, the swarming locust has eaten, and what the swarming locust left, the canker worm has eaten, and what the canker worm left, the caterpillar has eaten. Awake, drunkards, and weep. Well, all you drinkers of wine on account of sweet wine, for it is denied to your mouth. For a nation has invaded my land, vast, yes, without number. Its teeth are lion's teeth, with jaw teeth of a lioness. He has turned my vine to waste, and my fig tree to, <laughs> <coughs> to splinters. He has stripped off all the bark and flung it down. Its branches are left white. Well, like a virgin dressed in sackcloth for the husband of her youth. Grain offering and drink offering are cut off from the house of Adonai. Kohanim, ministers of Adonai, mourn. The field is ruined. The land grieves for the grain has been devastated. New wine is dried up. Oil languishes. Be ashamed, O plowmen, whale, O vine dressers, over wheat and over barley. For the harvest of the field is lost. The vine is withered. The fig tree wilted. Pomegranate, palm, and apple tree. All trees of the field are withered, for joy has withered away from the children of men. Gird yourselves and weep, Kohanim, howl ministers of the altar. Come, lie in sackcloth all night, ministers of my God, for grain and drink offerings are withheld from the house of your God. The day is near. Consecrate a, fra um, a fast, consecrate a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly. Gather elders and all living in the land to the house of Adonai your God and cry to Adonai. Ah, the day of Adonai is near. As havoc from Shaddai, it will come it will come. Is food not cut off before your eyes? Joy and gladness from God's house. Seed has shriveled under the dirt clod. Sore houses are desolate. Granaries are torn down, for the grain has withered. How the animals groan, the herds of the cattle perplexed, because they have no pasture. The flocks of sheep also suffer. To you, Adonai, I cry, for fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness, and flame has set ablaze all the trees of the field. Also beasts of the field pant toward you, for the water of the wadis are dried up. The fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Job chapter 2. Blow the shofar in Zion. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the living in the land tremble for the day of Adonai is coming. Surely it is near. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness as blackness spreads over the mountains. A great and mighty people from antiquity. There was never anything like it. Nor after it ever again from generation to generation. A fire devours before them and behind them flames blazes up. Like the Garden of Eden is the land before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Nothing at all ever escapes them. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses. They gallop like war horses, like the clatter of chariots. They leap on tops of mountains, like the crackling flame of fire, devouring stubble like a mighty horde in a battle array. Before them, peoples are in anguish. All faces become ash and gray. They run like mighty men. They climb a wall like men of war. They each march in line, never de deviating from their ways. One does not crowd another. Each one marches on his own highway. They plunge through the weapons, and never breaking off. They rush on the city. They run on the wall. They climb up into the houses, coming through the windows like a thief. Before them, land quakes. Heaven trembles. The sun and moon become dark. Stars withdraw their brightness. Adonai utters his voice before his army, for his camp is very vast. For mighty is it that carries out his word. For great is the day of Adonai, very terrifying. Who can endure it? Call for Teshuvah. Yet even now it is a declaration of Adonai. Turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and lamenting. Run to your heart, not your garments, and turn to Adonai your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abundant in mercy, relenting about the calamity due. Who knows, he may turn and relent and may leave a blessing behind him, so there may be a grain offering and a drink offering for Adonai your God. Blow the shofar, blow the shofar in Zion, sanctify a fast, proclaim an assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even those nursing at breasts. Let the bridegroom come out from his bedroom and the bride from her chamber between the porch and the altar let the kohanim ministers of adonai weep and let them say have pity adonai on your people don't make your heritage a scorn a byword among the nations why should the people say where is their god adonai will be zealous for his land and have compassion on his people adonai will answer and say to his people behold i will send you the grain the new wine and the fresh oil and you will be satisfied with it i will no longer make you a mockery among the nations but i'll remove the northern invader far from you yes I'll banish him to a dry land and a desolate land, his vanguard to the eastern sea and his rear guard into the western sea. His odor will go up, yes, his stench will rise, for he has done great things, reign and restoration. Do not fear, O land, 
Be glad, rejoice, for Adonai has done great things. Do not be afraid, beasts of the field, for the desert pastures have sprouted. For the tree bears its fruit, fig tree and vine yield their strength. So be glad, children of Zion, and rejoice in Adonai, your God. For he gives you the early rain for prosperity. Yes, he will bring down rain for you. The early and latter rain as before, the threshing floors will be full of grain, and the vats will overflow with new wine and fresh oil. I shall restore to you the years that the locusts, the swarming locusts, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar have eaten. My great army that I sent among you, you will surely eat and be satisfied. And praise the name of Adonai, your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. Never again will my people be shamed. You will know that I am within Israel. Yes, I am Adonai, your God. There is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. Joel chapter 3, promise of the Ruach Adonai. So it will be afterward, I will pour out my Ruach on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Also on the male and female servants will I pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth. Blood, fire, and pillars of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and awesome day of Adonai comes. Then all who call on Adonai's name will escape from Mount Zion and Jerusalem. There will be a rescue, as Adonai has said, among the survivors whom Adonai is calling. Joel chapter 4, Valley of Jehoshaphat. For behold, in those days, and at that time, when I restore Judah and Jerusalem from exile, I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. I will plead with them there on behalf of my people, even my inheritance Israel, whom they scattered among the nations, and they divided up my land. They cast lots for my people, traded a boy for a prostitute, and sold a girl for which they drank. <coughs> Moreover, what are you to me, Tyre and Sidon, and all regions of Philistia? Did you render retribution for me? Even if you are rendering retribution for me swiftly, speedily will I return your retribution back on your own head. For you took my silver and my gold, and you carried my valuable treasures into your temples. The children of Judah and of Jerusalem you sold to the Greeks in order to remove them far from their own territory. Behold, I am rousing them from the place where you sold them, and I will return your retribution on your own head. I will sell your sons and daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they will sell them to the men of Sheba, to a nation far off, for Adonai has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations, prepare for war, stir up the mighty men, let the warriors advance and attack. <coughs> Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning knives into spears. Let the weak say I am strong, rouse yourselves and come, all nations around, and gather there. Adonai, bring your mighty ones down, let the nations rouse themselves. Your smoothies right there. Let the nations rouse themselves. And go up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the surrounding nations. Swing the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, tread for the winepress is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of Adonai is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon become dark, the stars withdraw their brightness. Adonai will roar from Zion and give his voice from Jerusalem. Heaven and earth will shudder. Shalom and Zion, but Adonai will be a refuge for his people and a safe place for the children of Israel. So you will know that I am Adonai your God. Dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain, then will Jerusalem be holy, and foreigners will cross, cross through her no more. It will be in that day the mountains will drip sweet wine, the hills will flow with milk, and all the wadis of Judah will flow out with water. A spring will flow out from the house of Adonai, and the water of the valley of Shittim. Egypt will become a desolation, and Edom a desert to wasteland because of the evidence of violence against the children of Judah, because they shed innocent blood in their land, but Judah will be inhabited forever. Jerusalem from generation to generation, I will acquit their blood guilt that I had not acquitted, for Adonai dwells in Zion.